Well, good morning, YouTube. Welcome to the next video. So we already got a few stumps out here. We got a lot of stuff going on on this uh, project, but beautiful house. And uh, got these two stumps out pretty easily. 310 power. And uh, we're gonna be knocking down some trees also. So we'll be taking down these cedars right here. You see my finger? There it is. So try that out. And uh, got to borrow a backhoe bucket that actually works on this machine, which is cool. Thank you, Wade. All right, so I figured out the last time that the footage was all trashed when I tried making a video with this machine, I was completely blocking the entire view and you couldn't even see where the bucket was. So we're gonna try this again. It's a little bit better angles here. So I got the 18 inch bucket on the 310 right now. And we are gonna knock down a few trees here. system here on the tree the ground softer as heck probably already yep two weeks ago right now and the moisture in the dirt is just perfect no dust great compaction with it perfect happy in between oh, I wonder if see how hard it is to push it over the way I have it right now get some good leverage on it too huh? make sure dogs out of the way and there she goes, baby. Just like that. Oh, stabbing it a little bit. She's got a good fighting chance. Denver. There she is. <laughs> Not bad at all, girl. Oh, 310 maximum power effort. Maximum effort power. All right. Oh yeah, there's a little stump right here too. Hopefully you guys can see what's going on here. And I really don't need music going on right now so I don't get copyrighted. I'm not even sure what the heck this thing is, but. Oh, it's in there though. You know, it's really weird how like root balls can be. over an entire tree super easy but this thing's gonna give me a hard time come on you holy heck there's some roots on this thing
a thing that you think you're just gonna pop out and it becomes a chore. I'm just trying not to disturb too much ground because we're gonna be building here. Well, not me, but there's gonna be a building here, so I'm trying not to screw it up too much. There she goes. Oh my goodness gracious. Stubborn little bastard. Right? Yeah, I was just talking to the camera going, man, this thing's being a little chore. That was a lot bigger than I thought. Okay. And I was contemplating about bringing the skidster here and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna bring it. I'm gonna need it and sure as heck, definitely using it. Skid steers are great all around tool to have on the job. If you're gonna buy your first machine and you wanna spend the money on one, I definitely recommend buying a skid steer first. Well, I mean, you know what I mean. If you need an excavator for your work, you know what you need, but if you wanna do like a lot of like land maintenance and stuff like that around, uh, you know, your local community, a skid steer is a great do-it-all tool. I mean, cause heck, you can even get a uh, hose for skid steers. So, I mean, you can have a little mini X and a, a, a grater or a cleanup tool and these things can you know dump in a dump bed super easily i remember when i had my l2501 tractor that little kubota beforehand um that actually would have kind of a hard time dumping in my three foot bedside uh, dump trailer sometimes it just wouldn't really reach high enough or by the time you get to that height uh, it gets kind of sketchy when you have a lot of weight in the bucket type of stuff um, but a skidster has absolutely no problem with that whatsoever you can pretty much dump in a dump truck if you want to Let me give him one more little bit here let him take off all good okay all right let's dump over this next tree here I wonder if I can just push it over clear myself a little space here get stuff done definitely exquisitely go down there and probably twist the trees around open up that road again get that stuff up and out of the way good points about being able to take shortcuts with an excavator it's always kind of nice it might be sketchy but they're not that bad Probably should have my seatbelt on, but whatever. Especially, I still got the plastic on the chair, so I have like no traction on my butt. My cell phone's about to fall down. We're pretty sideways, folks. Yeah, I'm gonna put my seatbelt on. <laughs> it's nice and orange, so the inspectors can see you being safe. All right, now I can fall down style. Hang on to me, seatbelt. Just the like of that. Alrighty. Ooh, these are 
do something about Shea Suckers. Alright, I'll see you where the pivot point wants to be on these things. See how heavy they are too. They're pretty heavy. <laughs> uh, this one has a huge dirt clog in it too. Yeah, I should probably break that up first. stuck in the ground too over here. Screw your roots. That's one way to do it. I'm surprised how much this dirt will add that extra weight to this tree. machine and I'm sideways too I don't even have the blade in front of me oh that is awesome that's really really cool to be able to do that yeah that's awesome tree is but this is some coolness right here to be able to do this grabbing and twisting it be able to pick up I don't know this is probably a 30 foot 30 or 40 foot tall tree at least no oh, yeah, this is beyond 40 feet it's probably like 45 50 feet tall and the way this thing is handling it is awesome ain't no Kubota 040 gonna be doing this I'll tell you that much Good steer. out from underneath or you can just pop that tree over. Get rid of this stuff here real quick. Okay. 
kind of warm outside already. to be able to do something like this. Alright, I'm going to get away from this tree and then knock her down a little bit. Down on the flat here. It's not as sketchy. to length because this stuff's gonna get milled down so make it easy on him get a handsaw out here so you can take care of that make that armor work trying to show you guys uh, how easy it is to change a bucket on this machine here. Kind of hard to do with one hand, but... Alright. So, 
close the buttons you press. Makes nice beeping sounds though. Straighten this sucker out here. Remember, this is a 71 inch bucket that's made for this machine. I didn't know. When I asked uh, Wade, my cat guy, I'm like, hey, what's the biggest bucket we can get on this thing? And he goes, 71 inches. I was like, that is cool. I want one. Damn. Always check your coupler too. See that, that red piece right there? I don't know if you get in the sun. That red piece, you want that locked in. Just like that. Now, I can put this bucket out of the way. <laughs> Should have done that before. Could have put it somewhere else, but let's just try to show you guys. Come on, hook on to it. I don't want to grab you by the pin. I like it when you don't mar up pins. Don't be like those guys. Alright, get this thing up and out of the way here. vegetation on this hill. All this soft stuff at least. Where there's no... That's soft stuff right there. I don't know where I should put this stuff or what. That's kind of the next question. As well, yeah. It's a good potting soil right there. kind of dirt is absolutely useless because all pretty much mulch and organics in it you'll never get good compaction out of that and you'll have issues in the future if you ever try to use that kind of dirt because then your foundation is going to start cracking real quick the stuff that's in the bug right now is kind of a 50 50 still not the best but all right got all 
all that finished up, uh, I'm gonna go track over and start digging some footings over here on the other side. Don't need the music going right now. And the cool thing about this machine is, look, I am not using the foot controls right now because I can use my joystick function. As long as I don't hit this truck, we're good. Yeah. Look at that. No feet. I love it. Hey guys, sorry. It's uh, it's so it's been a few hours. And we're over here digging these footings. I had to swap out buckets a few times. It's just straight up stone through here. Yeah, it's a little bit miserable. However, still powering through in it. Um, had to dig that backside. That was a pain in the butt right back through here with the 36 inch bucket for the retaining wall and the footing, I guess, for the stem wall. Uh, this stuff right here is taking me a while. I'm trying to keep it at a foot in depth and trying to break apart these rocks but I mean this thing's still I mean you can see that pile I mean I'm just breaking up base rock I don't, I don't know what you would really call this the ground here changes so drastically from elevation changes you never know what you're really gonna get into all of a sudden at one point you're in potting soil Next point you're in clay, then the next point you get like a bunch of lava rock, and then there, then there's this just hard pan right here. But yeah, you can see, man, it's just kind of hard to get a nice footing when this stuff just breaks apart everything. So yeah, that's what we're dealing with at this moment in time until whenever my battery dies on the GoPro. We'll see how, how long we can go here. Just taking it slow, taking it smooth. I'm trying to get this done right more than anything. These rocks though. They are a chore and a half. Tire oak tree. gonna do it. Oh, she's taking it. There she goes. Holy hell. Sweet. All right, well, uh, this is the next day. And I completely forgot to sign off yesterday, kind of finished up some footings and got a few other things done and kind of wrapped it up for the day. But I forgot my GoPro batteries, so I'll try to record as much as I can, but I got 9% battery left yet. So just wanted to show you guys that tree dropping, just dropping trees a little bit today. Other than that, uh, I'll uh, get another video rolling here later on when I can. You guys take care. Please like and subscribe. Please comment down below. You guys have a good one. Thank you.